But in this process, the quest for global hegemony by U.S. imperialism continues to aggravate. In the post-COVID situation, this quest for global hegemony is sought to be directed to ensure that no country or no force can actually challenge U.S. imperialism. And in that, the target, the main target of U.S. imperialism today is China. The rise, the global rise of the socialist uh, China has actually posed this threat whereby U.S. imperialism has shifted gear from this earlier strategy of containment of China to what is today pursuing the isolation of China. And in the process of isolation of China, it's mobilizing all its, all its allies, all its Western allies. And in this process, it is creating conditions in the world which will have serious ramifications for the social contradictions that exist in the world today at the international level. Now, when this has been going on, came the Ukraine war. Today is the 42nd day of this war in Ukraine. We have said the war must immediately stop. There must be a ceasefire and through negotiation that must be done. But we must realize that this is a war actually between Russia and US and NATO. And Ukraine is the theater where this war is being waged. And this has been caused by the relentless expansion of NATO, which should not have existed after the Soviet Union's disintegration. Expansion of NATO to the Russia's borders, where they have 1,75,000 combat troops stationed on Russia's borders. All Eastern European countries have become NATO members, except Ukraine and Georgia. This effort to make Ukraine a member of the NATO and pose the threat is the provocation for this war. And whatever this provocation, but the war must end, this must be ensured that there is no eastward expansion of NATO any longer. And this must, must be ensured, but at the current moment, the war continues to rage on. But the actual culprit behind this is the quest for global hegemony by U.S. imperialism which is the reason for NATO's expansion.